minute to go on the assist by Harold. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. It's Crowder on the wing. Pass to Clutch. There's the three. Hits it from three-point range. Clutch has got seven points. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Over the last few years, yet yeah, the, the step back three has become a staple for some guys. Who do you think is the most consistent with it? Harden and Doncic, easily. You know who started the Dutch step back? A guy named, the first time I ever saw it was Kiki Vander. Yeah. Oh, really? I never saw a step back until he and played. And it was quick. Yeah, he used to do a quick step back. And I'd never seen the step back move ever in my life before. And I was like, what is that? Is that a walk? He's like, no, it's a step back. And now we got the step to the step to the step to the step to the step back. To the side back. And yeah. yeah. what's going to be the next development? Oh, you're just going to be able to run and you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing that right now. Yeah, we? exactly. And George, here we go. The shot will not fall. Excellent D here by Igudala. Butler in the corner. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk a lot of glass clean in that game. This guy is such a quick decision maker. Lou Williams with the catch and shoot jumper. Crowder the pass to Clutch. Krill's the three pointer. Clutch has got a couple of threes now in the first for the Heat. And Harold's got 11 points. If you do not box out Montrez Harold, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. You ask around more and more team trainers focused on the importance of sleep for peak performance. Is that something that you ever paid attention to, Kenny, when you were playing? Yes. I never played an NBA game. Butler against George. Over Butler. The shot by George, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And they keep hammering away at him. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And so Beverly will bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by 16. Pass to George. Leonard with the ball. Defended by Butler. And stolen by Butler. Here's Clutch, defended by Beverly. Clutch, the pass to Portis. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And there's the whistle, the illegal screen. And not the most common call you see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Zubac is checked in for the Clippers. Landry Shamit comes in for Morris. Jones checked in for Miami. The shot's good from Clutch. Clutch has got 33 points. We hear all these uh, different terms about resting players, but Kenny, load management seems to be the one that is stuck. Is that something you wish was around, for instance, when you play? Honestly, I probably didn't want it, but if I used it, oh, I would have been a much better player. Uh, honestly, because the up body is at 170 pounds, six foot three, is not built to play 82 games in playoffs. It's not real. George has got seven points in the game. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. To the middle, here's Clutch. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Clutch has got 48. Breaker takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. George, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Clutch. 
down low. Crowder banked in off the glass. He's got 10. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. He gets that one. Williams has got four points in the quarter. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Hits it again. Wow. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. And Los Angeles with some changes. Zubats is checked in for Montrez Harrell. Patrick Beverly comes in for George. And it's Jackson in for Lou Williams. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. Goes back up. Again, what an avalanche. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Passes it to Zubats. He dishes it to Leonard, launches it, gets the three-pointer to fall. Leonard's got 16 points. Ooh, finally hitting one from range. That's his first three of the night. Here's Clutch, and got it! Another basket. And he's been dominant here thus far. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Williams. Patrick Patterson is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Paul George. It's Kevin Kelly in at the five. Down low. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Morris outside. In the corner, George with it. Nails the 16-footer. Uh, how good is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Yeah, easy call. And he makes the first. He's put another three for the Clippers. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. He got it again. Sensational. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. And the Heat making a change here. Butler's checked in. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique Play view. the right way. Something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. And, yep, another basket. And that's 70. He's unbelievable. And, and he just keeps on going. He's got more points than anybody else out there. In the corner, it's Patterson. Williams kicks to Patterson. Right wing. Here's Kevin Gelly. He's covered by Leonard. And that one, good. Williams has got 21. Your biggest fear as a defensive player, Lou Williams in a groove. Look out, everybody. Clutch the pass to Igudala. Here's Leonard. Sinks that one from the post. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. And it's Williams with the ball for Los Angeles. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That sets in motion a four-game road trip for him. George fires. It's rebounded by Leonard. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. And obviously, Patrick his Patterson. Here's Williams. That one's not going to go. Excellent D there from Clutch. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The first free throw is good. Landry Shamit's checked in for Morris. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Miami. And he makes both free throws. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Shamit finds William. Back to Shamit. And the three off target. Miami's gone 3 of 5 from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Got that bucket in in no time at all. 
It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. Passes to Noah. To the inside and stolen by Butler. And they're moving it up. And another one falls. Amazing. 81 on the night. Channeling his inner Mamba right now. <laughs> There's, there is no slowing this guy down. He is on fire. And George kicks to Shannon. Noah against Leonard. Pass to Williams. To stop the run. They get it again. Miami's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. The shot's good from Clutch. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. The Clippers shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Outside, George from outside the arc, and it's good assisting on the play was William. George has got 19 points. You've got to be prepared on the catch to release quickly, and Paul George does. Another one goes. Incredible. He's scoring at an insane level here, folks. The defense powerless to slow him down. Yeah, he's on a mission, closing in on third place all time in scoring. Here's Shamit. Got it. Good job in the low post. I love the advantage he has from a speed standpoint. Does a great job of creating separation for that shot. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. So much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Yet another bucket. And that ties him for third all-time scoring for a single game. What a reverse. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And, yep, that, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time. And the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of six to shoot. They shoot again, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. First one falls for him. That's also good, so he hits both by three. Noah. Just take what the defense allows, right? Joe Kim Noah, good recognition from high percentage range. Here's Clutch, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Oh, how about using the rim to get some... Assist by Beverly. George has got 13 points now in the quarter. None up top. Outside Leonard. Here's Clutch. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. L.A. has gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. And so it's going to end up... And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is...